The following video covers the reassembly of a CDMA, that is Verizon and Sprint, iPhone 4. You may use the links to jump to any section of the reassembly now if you would like. Push the earpiece mesh out of the digitizer and screen assembly from the outside. Place this into your new digitizer assembly if it was not included. The mesh is normally not included. Omitting it results in a messy look. Carefully thread the cables through the larger hole in the frame. Be sure that these are completely through the hole or they may become damaged later during reassembly. Once you are sure that they are completely through, slowly start pushing the digitizer and screen assembly down. Please note that if you did remove the side screws, you will need to ensure that the washers are in the correct location. Once you are satisfied with the fit, push down on the frame slightly and start replacing and tightening the screws. Start by setting the microphone and speaker assembly into the case. Replace the two screws that secure the assembly, being sure to include the small shield. Replace the vibrator motor into the case, and the adhesive should hold it into place. Slide the mainboard into the case under the cables and slide it up a bit. Ensure that all of the cables are free and not stuck under the mainboard. Take your time. Replace the five screws. Since there is a bit of bounce, it tends to be easiest to 
do this by starting with the bottom most Phillips screw, then secure the top most Phillips, and then move on to the three flathead screws. Start reconnecting your connectors to the mainboard. When you get to the digitizer and screen cables, if they do not easily reach their connections, stop and go back to ensure that they are completely through the case. If you tug on them too hard, you will break them. Replace the upper antenna cable and reattach its shield. It is secured with one screw. Next, replace the camera and reconnect its connector. Finally, replace the mainboard shield. Note that there is a small hook which hooks under the mainboard. Replace the five Phillips screws that secure the shield.
Reconnect the lower antenna connector after threading it through its channel. It is quite small and you will want to be very gentle so take your time. Replace the shield and secure it with the Phillips screw. Next reconnect the ribbon cable. Finally replace the ribbon cable shield and secure it with both Phillips screws. Set the battery back in place making sure the pull tab is free. Reconnect the connector and tighten down the Phillips screw. Set the back cover on the back of the phone. Use some pressure to ensure it is seated properly. Finally, replace the two bottom screws. Please note that these may be Pentalobe or Phillips depending on your phone. Some kits do come with replacement screws to replace your Pentalobe screws with standard Phillips screws. Test all the functions of your phone. If you've done everything properly, your phone should function like new. Thank you for watching this iPhone 4 assembly video provided by Micro Center. Be sure to stop into your local Micro Center or shop online at microcenter.com for all of your iPart needs.